Hey guys, Bobby here. I want to show you a couple of new tools we have this term for students to kind of get you guys in the know about what's happening at Animation Mentor. So first up we have a new GUI picker which allows you to select all the pieces on the character. What this does is it allows you to hide the curves and simply just work directly with the character. The other cool thing that our GUI picker does is that we've broken it down into different sections. So we have a section just for the face that would allow the animators to work just on the face and also on the hands. This works really well when you're isolating areas and when you're animating. So instead of having to set keys on everything all the time, you can work on the individual areas you're working on and have a picker just for that. The other cool thing is that we've now brought our picker to all of our biped and creature characters at Animation Mentor. So our characters now have face controls and hand controls for each character. The next tool I want to tell you about is our pose library tool. So what we've done is we've gone and set up controls that make it very easy for the animator to switch between expressions for the character. We've also added hand poses to be able to make it easy when you're blocking out your shots to get to poses really quickly, which will help you streamline your workflow. And finally, we've created phoneme shape, so when people are doing lip sync with their animation, it's very easy for them to drop in the shapes that they hear. It's a great starting point, and again, a way to really help streamline the animator's workflow. So we hope you enjoy this little sneak preview of what's happening at Animation Mentor. Thanks for watching.